fast math tricks, changing fraction number to decimal number. When performing fast arithmetic, sometimes it's important for us to change a fraction number to decimal number as fast as possible. Therefore, you advise to memorize some of the conversion, especially the one where 7 is the denominator, such as 1 over 7, 2 over 7, and etc. Before we start, please be reminded that the link to the worksheet of this video can be found in the descriptions of the video. Now let's start with some easier one. Um, 1 over 2. 1 over 2 is half. Okay, and therefore it is equal to 0 0.5. 1 over 4 is a quarter. A quarter is equal to 0 0.25. 2 over 4. 2 over 4 is equal to 1 over 2. And therefore it is equal to 0 0.5. 3 over 4 is 3 quarter. 3 times of 0 0.25. And therefore it is equal to 0 0.75. 1 over 5 is equal to 0 0.2. Uh, 2 over 5 is equal to 0 0.4, 3 over 5 equal to 0 0.6, and 4 over 5 equals to 0 0.8. This is easy. 1 over 8 is half of 1 over 4, and therefore it is equal to 0 0.125. 2 over 8 is equal to 1 over 4, so it is equal to 0 0.25. 3 over 8 is 3 times of 0 0.125. So it is 0 0.375. 4 over 8 is equal to half. So it's 0 0.5. 5 over 8 is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.125. Therefore, it is 0 0.625. 6 over 8 is equal to 3 over 4. And therefore, it is equal to 0 0.75. And 7 over 8 equal to 0 0.875. Okay, all of this is easy, okay. Let's continue with the fraction number where the denominator is 3, 6, and 9, okay. 1 over 3 equal to 0 0.3333333, or uh, we write it as 0 0.3 recurring, where we put a dot or sometimes a bar on top of the number 3. Uh, 2 over 3 equal to 0 0.6 recurring. Uh, these tools are easy, okay? How about 1 over 6? 1 over 6 is equal to 0 0.16 recurring. Take note that only the 6 is recurring. 1 does not repeat, okay? 2 over 6 equal to 1 over 3, and therefore it is equal to 0 0.3 recurring. 3 over 6 equal to 1 over 2, which is equal to 0 0.5. Uh, 4 over 6 equal to 1 over 3, and therefore is uh, 0 0.6 recurring, and uh, 5 over 6. 5 over 6 is equal to 0 0.83 recurring. Again, take note that only the 3 is recurring, 8 does not repeat. Um, how about 1 over 9? Now, this is easy. 1 over 9 is equal to 0 0.1 recurring, 2 over 9 equal to 0 0.2 recurring, and then uh, 3 over 9 equals to 0 0.3 recurring, and uh, this is equal to 0 0.4 recurring, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and 0 0.8. So this is easy, right? Now here come the interesting one, the fraction number where the denominator is 11. So uh, what is the decimal number for 1 over 11? The answer is it is equal to 0 0.09 recurring. Okay, how about 2 over 11? 2 over 11 is equal to 0 0.18 recurring. Both the number 1 and 8 repeat unlimited time. Now this is interesting because we found that this number is equal to 9 times 1 and this equal to 9 times 2. 9 times 2 equal to 18. So how about 3 over 11? 3 over 11 is equal to 0 0.27 recurring because 9 times 3 equal to 27. So how about 4 over 11? 9 times 4 equal to 36 and therefore this is 0 0.36 recurring. 9 times 5 equal to 45. So 0 0.45 recurring. 9 times 6 equal to 54. So 0 0.54 recurring. 9 times 7 equal to 63. 0 0.63 recurring, 9 times 8 equal to 72, so 72 recurring, 
and 9 times 9 equal to 81. So this is equal to 0 0.81 recurring, and 9 times 10 equal to 90. So 10 over 11 equal to 0 0.90 recurring. Here comes the most difficult and the most fascinating one. The fraction numbers where 7 is a denominator. So how do we change these fraction number to decimal numbers in just a few seconds? Okay, let's start with 1 over 7. 1 over 7 equal to 0 0.142857 recurring. Okay, you advise to memorize this. Okay, and this is easy to be memorized. Why? Because uh, the first two digits, 14 is the doubles of 7, and then 28 is the doubles of 14, and then followed by 57. Now, 57 is almost the doubles of 28. Okay, 28 times 2 equal to 56, and 56 plus 1 equal to 57. We don't have 3, 6, and 9. Take note that these groups of numbers consist almost all the numbers from 1 to 9 except 3, 6, and 9. And this is important for us to memorize the decimal numbers for the other fractions number here. Let's continue with 2 over 7. 2 over 7 is equal to 0 0.285714 recurring. You should realize that these groups of numbers are the same as these groups of numbers, and the sequence is almost the same, except that this one starts with 2, okay? So let's check here. When we start with 2, then it will follow by 8. So it's 2, 8, 5, 7, and then back to 1, 4. So this is exactly the sequence, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4. So you can see that it's easy for us to remember or to memorize these numbers. Okay, they are same group of numbers except that they start with different numbers. And for 1 over 7, it starts with 1, and 2 over 7, it starts with 2. How about 3 over 7? We don't have 3 here, so the next number is 4. Right? 4. So we start with 4, and then follow by what? Follow by 2, 8, 5, 7, 1. Okay, so 3 over 7 equals to 0 0.428571. The next number is 5, so 4 over 7 is 0 0.571428, okay? So 0 0.571428, and for 5 over 7, the next number, which is larger than 5, is 7. We don't have 6 in this number, so the next one is 7. So the decimal number is 0 0.714285, so this is the answer, 0 0.7. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5. The next number larger than 7 is 8, and therefore 6 over 7 is equal to 0 0.857142. So the answer is 0 0.857142 recurring. So this is how we memorize the decimal numbers for the fractions where the denominator starts with 7.